Hello world, welcome to Space Gazette's weekly wrap-up. We've got great new images from Hubble and Rosetta, a milestone from NASA's Planet Hunting Telescope, and a couple of tests that will bring humans a step closer to Mars. Let's check it out. Hubble is celebrating 25 years of service this week and did so in grand fashion with the unveiling of the largest composite image ever taken by the Space Telescope. This view of Andromeda is the clearest we've ever had of our Milky Way's nearest neighbor, also known as M31. For the first time, astronomers are able to study individual stars in a spiral galaxy outside our own, and there are over 100 million stars contained in this image alone. Hubble also revisited the classic Pillars of Creation, which lie within the Eagle Nebula, these new images give us a much clearer view of these towers of gas, which are being blasted away by ionizing winds from nearby stars. Hubble scientists released images from the columns in the visible light spectrum and in near-infrared, allowing us to see young stars hidden within. ESA has some new photos from Rosetta as well. The new mosaic of 67P was taken from nearly 24 miles out and reveals some interesting surface features for study. Unfortunately, one of those features isn't the Philae lander, whose current location remains unknown. In a recent update, ESA stated that they are hoping the comet's upcoming pass near the sun will be enough to wake the lander and re-establish communication. Planet hunting Kepler Space Telescope reached a milestone this week, having discovered more than 1,000 planets orbiting other stars. Three of the newly discovered Earth-sized planets lie within their star's habitable zone bringing the count to eight. Based on Kepler's findings, astronomers estimate that in the Milky Way alone, there may be some 8.8 .8 billion Earth-sized planets orbiting within the habitable zone of their suns. On Friday, NASA tested the RS-25 engine, gathering important data during a 500-second long burn. The engine, formerly used for space shuttle launches, will be repurposed for NASA's SLS, or Space Launch System, is planned to bring humans to an asteroid before a manned mission to Mars. Finally, on Saturday, SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 with a Dragon capsule full of supplies to the ISS. Launch and separation were a success, but we were holding our breath for the first stage landing attempt on the spaceport drone ship. The rocket made it to its target, but hit the platform pretty hard, causing some damage. It was determined that the rocket ran out of hydraulic fluid shortly before it touched down, causing the hard descent. Elon Musk says SpaceX is ready to try again next month, with 50% more hydraulic fluid and some important lessons learned. The Dragon capsule is expected to meet up with the ISS this Monday. That's it for this week's wrap-up. If you want to take a closer look at anything we talked about in this video, check out the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Join us on Twitter and Facebook for the very latest updates. We're going to have a lot more content incoming, and we'd like you to join us. Thanks again.